when it comes to country code picker your best option to go is the country code picker created by hbb20 and the 72 contributors so this is a pretty good library with everything that you would have asked for from a country code picker library so this has pretty neat feature you can use the ui as compact like this one or a full size ui like this one and it has a dialogue and everything that you need there are several other features like custom list number validating number formatting auto detecting country different languages and etc etc so it was very good in xml there is a very good documentation but when it comes to compose there wasn't a version built for this country code picker so in one of my project when i was looking for a country code picker for jetpack compose i came across this Togisoft jetpack compose country code picker but this one surprised you with these things so he says i am no longer developing you can find the new version here and which takes us to the jump sdk country code picker emoji so this one is maintained well decently i say so it was last updated three months ago but it has some limitations and there is something that i don't like so the first red flag is it doesn't support material 3 as you know with jetpack compose the components are always changing so material 3 is a must need because you always get updates in jetpack compose so you cannot sacrifice the whole project for just one library so when i was using this library i recorded it to modify it to support material 3 but i didn't like some of the features so this one comes with this uh, text field along with this cross icon and everything else you can remove the cross icon but it doesn't offer the simple country code picker view uh, it gives you the dialogue uh, it has like pretty good features but i wanted it to be more a country code picker view rather than a text field so this one uses the emoji flag icon uh, this is a good one because using unicode emoji flag icons you can reduce the library size by a lot uh, there is a country number hints that is a good option as well but problem is you cannot use it elsewhere or you cannot put this as a whole view if you want or you cannot use it anywhere else except for this text field from this library so he made a lot of internal classes which are not accessible so these things uh, inspired me to rebuild this library to my own uh, it is one of my common habit when i use a third party library and i am not satisfied with it i made my own modifications to them i download the source code i made the changes and then i use it as i like in my project so what is my plan is to make this as a view and this view can be used as a leading icon to this text field so you can use it like as it is and also it can be used as a view in general it won't be an internal class for sure uh, there is only this uh, dialogue but i also like the bottom sheet a more rather than the dialogue in most cases so i will build two version of it not to version actually uh, you have to customization option you can choose the dialogue or you can choose the bottom sheet i also want you to have the other customization option like the country short code for australia it is au so you can show it or hide it that could be optional and also i want to show the and lastly we are going to deploy it to zipback and test the library in several cases to check how it works so all of this for a new video series i am going to create that is to create a country code picker using zpack compose for android in the upcoming videos i'll be teaching you step by step every composable every function every method that i create for this one and there will be a github repository after finishing the library we'll be creating a release we'll be creating documentation publishing it through zpack and all of this stuff so it will be a long series maybe 5 10 12 i don't know how many videos they are going to be but by this series uh, you will learn how to create a library in general and also you will learn how to create a country code picker in zpack compose 
and as well as i will be publishing the library in my own github account so you can use it from there as well so stay tuned for the upcoming videos where we will be starting to code country code picker for jetpack compose thank you for watching tranquilly coding see you in the next video